text-to-speech tools, what's available. Microsoft Office Speak Command. Okay, so this first video is looking at the Microsoft Office Speak Command, uh, which I've actually just used to, uh, to read that first bit of text to you. Um, it's very, very easy to use this one, uh, and actually also very easy and quick to set up. If you look at the top left of the screen here, I've got this option um, that says Speak Selected Text. If you, uh, if you want to enable this on a computer that, that has Microsoft Office Suite on it, it's very, very straightforward to do. Um, this is called the uh, the Quick Access Toolbar. Uh, and basically, you go onto your, your customized Quick Access Toolbar um, button here. You click on there, and then we go to Show More Commands. So that option there, More Commands. Uh, we go on this, uh, this drop-down box, and we change it from Popular Commands to All Commands. And then you scroll down until you find Speak. There it is, and then you would click on it, like I've done there, and then you click on the Add button, which moves it into the, uh, the Quick Access Toolbar column on this side, and then that's it. It will be uh, available in the, uh, in the document for you to use. If you want it to read something to you, you just select the piece of text, and you, uh, you click Speak Selected Text up here. Microsoft Topics, Speak Command. You can use it on a longer piece of text if you'd like, and uh, if you need to uh, to stop it when it's reading a longer piece of text, and um, that's quite easy as well. So I'll start it speaking, and then I'll show you how it stops. Microsoft Office is installed on every PC in college, and in a few simple steps, it can be set up as a. So if you saw at the uh, the top left of the screen there, I just clicked uh, on the Speak Selected Text icon again, and that actually stopped the. Uh, the, the text-to-speech tool from, from working, it stopped the, the reader working. So yeah, if you if you sort of get to a, a natural stopping point within something that you're reading, you can uh, you can use it to, to stop. It won't just read all the text you've highlighted. You do have a certain amount of control over it. Um, now it's available uh, in Word, um, Outlook, and PowerPoint. Uh, it's quite a, quite an easy um, tool to use, um, but it is one of the more limited ones. Um, the voice can be changed, uh, but it can't actually be done from within um, Word or, or, or any of the Office Suite um, applications. It has to be done through the uh, the control panel on the computer. Um, we're not going to look at that um, because the uh, the default voice that's, that's set on the computers is actually um, one of the better quality ones. It's one of the JISC Tech Disc voices. Um, so uh, that is just a, a very quick look at how that, that speak command works. Um, and uh, if you have any problems with it, if you run into to any issues, please feel free to get in touch and I'll do my best to, uh, to troubleshoot those for you. Um, thanks very much. Bye. Now it's time for a quick review. To set up the speak function, select Customize Quick Access Toolbar in the top left of the screen. Select More Commands. In the drop down menu, select All Commands, Find, and then select Speak. Click Add and then click OK to exit. Once you've done this, you'll be able to use the speak command. To use the speak command, select the text you want to be read aloud, and then at the top left of the screen, click Speak Selected Text. To stop reading the text if required, click Stop Reading Selected Text.